started up, he said, whoa. One of them started to crawl away, and then he grabbed it. He loves these little dudes. Introducing the newest member of our camp fam. Yeah. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. He loves dubias. We've been trying to crack what he eats because he didn't seem excited about anything. Yeah, we tried super worms. You can see there was, he has a little friend. He just became a pet <laughs> corn worm pet. <laughs> a pet with a pet. Uh, yeah, but he likes dubias, and uh, he likes water. <laughs> we'll drink right out of the uh, the spout, and uh, yeah, we're He's really excited to see him uh, grow and get happier. And... Yeah, would you want to put those other dubias on you? Oh, we have them. Yeah. Are they here? Yeah. He's okay. a sambava, and this is a, different from the amelope, which is what we had in uh, Gamora and Starlet. These are small dubias I was going to try them out, but I think I'm going to get medium dubias because he's just eating them like popcorn. These are expensive. Oh, yeah. It's not a cheap date. So I guess they're less expensive if you make them yourself, breed them yourself. Okay, so we're going to see if he goes for them. Oh. What's in there? What's in there? You see him? Yeah, want to try to get a close up? Sure. Let's zoom in. Oh, spook him. What are those? Oh. <laughs> he just picks them off. How many has he eaten so far? Like, uh, uh, probably about ten. Okay. Oops, there's one on the ground. Oops, no, no, no. sorry, I lost <laughs> lost the camera there for a sec. Uh, it's not a perfect process. <laughs> Life. So, uh, how would you describe the coloring to everybody when, when they're mature? Oh, we're, I mean, this is our first experience with a Sambava, but, uh, you know, we definitely got a good glimpse of what he looks like or would ultimately look more like when he grows up and his color pattern develops more. Uh, right now, you know, it's pretty muted. Uh, he just woke up to, and he's getting situated, the air is getting warmer and you know, he's getting more comfortable, but if you let him out, let him do his own thing, it's a different story. It's not like this. And then also at night, too, he fires up. And he'll crawl down to the bottom, you know, curl up and go to bed. And then he fires up, so you get to see those really cool, like, reds and yellows and stuff. Yeah, so he's going to be mostly greens, reds, and yellows. God, he loves doobies. How many is he eating? He's eaten, like, 20 or something so far. Dude, yeah, I mean, they're God. tiny. He's they're like really 10. small. It's a whole bunch. <laughs> Kind of like eating hot wings or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, He's a hot wing fan. Mm -hmm. Get it? This is great Watch though, because we've been trying every kind of food, and he, he didn't seem that interested in any of them. So we were a little, a little bit wondering. Yeah. Doesn't he eat crickets though? He'll eat some crickets. crickets. He's just not as excited. When I put the dubias in, he crawled down and just started eating them immediately. It'd be a special trip. <laughs> I think he's about tapped out. Say goodbye, oh, Machu. Oh, that are one flavor. Teriyaki. <laughs> Teriyaki <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bye. Heaven or hell. Yeah. <laughs> Unlimited Teriyaki <laughs> homics. All right, buddy. Bye.